Hey everybody, this is Polish Pete. I'm gonna help you choose the right football jig. Choosing the right football jig is pretty simple. You just wanna look for some key attributes to help you on the bodies of water that you're gonna be fishing. For example, the line tie. The line tie, if it's horizontal, is really good at coming through that really hard, hard, thick cover. Things like rocks, and wood and things of that nature. The horizontal line tie tends to really come through the, that type of cover a lot better than a vertical line tie would have. So a vertical line tie is gonna shine a lot more coming through that thick vegetation. So when you're looking for a football jig, if the, for the body of water that you're fishing most of the time that you're targeting, you wanna just match up that line tie to either grass situations, try a, or a vertical line tie, horizontal for that hard cover situation. Also, you want to take into factor the type of brush guard that it has on it, or if it has a brush guard at all. When you're fishing bodies of water that have zero vegetation whatsoever and not a lot of hard cover, you're just fishing kind of flat, featureless bottom surfaces like a lot of places in the Great Lakes, you'll see that these, uh, these football jigs that don't have a weed guard at all kind of tend to shine in those situations. A lot of smallmouth anglers prefer this kind of uh, football jig. The wire weed guards that are available on this football jig, for example, really do shine at coming through really thick, like uh, brush situations, uh, like you get in a lot of reservoirs in the south. So the wire weed guard's a good option. Your traditional multi-strand fiber weed guards are really good in grass, hard cover, all that. To me, that's the most versatile option for you out there. Next up is skirted or unskirted. So you can get a jig obviously with a big thick skirt on it or you can get one without any skirting whatsoever. When you're fishing really pressured fish, sometimes not having a skirt that makes the presentation look a lot larger, just running your plastic directly on the, right onto the football jig without the skirt impeding the action of that trailer at all. Or if you're trying to get really subtle action out of that trailer and you're using kind of a featureless plastic, sometimes that non-skirted version will be a lot better for you. Last but not least, you want to look at uh, color options, right? So my favorite, if you've never fished a football jig and you just want a confidence one to try, I advise you to try peanut butter and jelly. It's always been a, probably one of the most popular colors in a football jig. For whatever reason, a deep structure jig like a football jig shines in this color. It kind of works in clear water conditions or dirty water conditions. It's kind of the best of both worlds. Other than that, you always go with the staples. Your black and blues for that really dirty, dingy water situations, and old faithful green pumpkin for those those clear water situations where you're looking to match the forage base a lot better with crayfish and bluegills and things of that nature. So when you're out there looking for a football jig next time, just remember match it up to where you're going to be fishing. Uh, grass with that those line tie options, uh, uh, skirt if you want that big, thicker presentation for maybe that bigger bite, more finessey bites of those non-skirted versions the weed guards to match up the type of vegetation or cover you're going through, and you'll go catch them with a football jig.